All right, Friday night, filling up 364. That's it, 923 at night. Look at that, man. Almost 110,000 miles on this beast. Woo, bought it at 36,000. Been rolling for the past couple of years. All right, let's get this Friday night on. Still sitting at the Circle K right now down on baseline, but look how many drivers are up at the airport. Man, all drivers up there. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, so I will not be going to the airport for show. Uh, they got surge everywhere except where I'm at, just like clockwork. Tempe's always surging. All the kids are trying to get to and from bars. I might end up down there tonight. They got a game going on down here. It's another game the Rockies are playing tonight. Forget that. Yeah, so the Rockies are playing again tonight. Yeah, this is my side of town, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of activity down here. Okay, we're going Uber. Yeah, ain't no surge nowhere around. They got a little bit down the street over here, but I'm not about to go over there. I mean, they got it at one spot. Come on, man. What is that? Sonesta Suites? Yeah, I ain't going over there. They took it away anyways. Like I said, they don't never have surge on Uber. They even got the game downtown, but there's nothing down there as far as surge goes. All over town, they got the other airport, $8, clear across town. That's about a good 30-minute drive from where I'm at right now. No use in driving over there for no damn $8. So, they got opportunities inside of here. Let's see what we got. You already saved the Colorado Rockies game. I won't end up there. 650 from 10 to 11. Airport, $6.50 on every trip, including the surge. So, if we get a $10 surge plus 650, that's $16.50 on every trip. Let's try to do that. I might do one or two trips, as long as they're short. If they're long nature hikes, I'm not doing them at all. So then, what, 11 to 12, you got $3 extra. <laughs> and then you got early morning, 1 to 2. Yeah, I won't be doing none of those. All right. So let's see what we got inside of Uber. Let, let me see what kind of shit they got. Let's feed the pigeons. Let's see what they got. Look at that. Nope, not even thinking about it. Four miles away, that's what, almost 12 miles for like 10 bucks? Nah, that's not me. Almost 30 minutes of driving for $10. You're getting like 20 bucks an hour right there. I don't do $20 an hour driving. Not on my own gas. I'll do $20 an hour driving if you provide the Lamborghini. That's the only thing I drive for $20 an hour is a Lambo. If you ain't, I ain't driving no Camry, no Prius, no nothing for 20. You gotta give me a Lambo and you gotta put the gas in it and say, hey Jeff, we'll give you $20 an hour to drive this Lambo. All right, bet, let's go. <laughs> Otherwise, you got your damn mind. Look at that. Eight miles for five bucks, 14, 24 miles. Man, that's crazy. Look at that. You got to go way down the channel to pick somebody up. 14 bucks. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let's get out of all that. Now let's go see what's going on over on Lyft. Uber still sending. I ain't even worried about what Uber sending. I ain't sending them with some garbage. They'll probably ping it straight to me in a second. Welcome to Lyft Maps. Who cares? And yeah, they got a little surge down the street. I can cruise down the street, get probably about two bucks down there. See if they can give me $2 over here to take me up north. Let's see what they got. Uh, it's taking me over to Mesa. No, nah, I don't want to go to Mesa. That's a little too far. 1028 to go to Mesa? No, it's too far. All right, let's turn Uber off. Because I'm about to do something on Lyft real quick. I'm not updating. And I'm about to do something on Lyft. I'm going to cruise over here to where this surge is right here. It's right on the other side of the highway. And then I'm going to see if I can get a ride up to Tempe. So I'm going to grab a ride over here and see if I can get up to Tempe. I'll let y'all know in a second. I'm not going downtown. It's just it's way too crazy down there right now. Did that real quick ride. Basically, I was picking him up from where I was from the mall and taking him back. I'm not doing that. $16 to go backwards. No, I'm cool on that shit. Nope. I picked him up from the mall and brought him right back to where I was sitting, basically. <laughs> right at the damn Circle K. So now I'm headed right back to where I'm going anyways. It's like, geez. Ain't no surge around me. And then he gave me a tip. So that was pretty cool. So there it is. I had like a little uh, three, 37 cent turbo, 255 tip on there. He probably gave me a $3 tip and they just added some of it to the turbo. Who knows, man? Ride bonus and everything. So that was a real quick ride. So I'm trying to get up to Tempe. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm working my way towards Tempe. But I'm just, you know, they keep trying to send me away because they know I'm going to go up there and get this money. They, that's what they just sent me, trying to send me way back over here. It's like, I'll go downtown or Tempe. Either one of those places, if they send me there, I'll go there. But if I got to go on my own gas to Tempe, I'll just cruise on my own gas. I don't care. I'm in there listening to Kendrick Lamar anyway. A lot of people don't like Kendrick. I like Kendrick. Gets me in the mood. So I'm kind of cruising to Kendrick right now. Should I hit y'all back in a minute? Okay, I'm in a 250 surge right now. I was in the four, but I turned it on right when I was at the 250. 
So I'm about to go up here and aim north a little bit, see if I can grab me a ride to take me up north. Hopefully they don't try to take me to Chandler or down south or some shit like that. If they take me up north, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I could do that. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to go west, trying not to go east. I just want to go north. That's it. Give me something to go north and, and I'll deal with you, Liv. Come on, let's do this shit. Let's make this money tonight. I'm done messing with y'all. They keep trying to send me on nature hikes and shit every time I turn these apps on. See, look at that. Got me going backwards. Man, I'm not going backwards. Yeah, I don't I do not do backwards driving. Once I'm going to where I'm going, that's the way I'm going. There is no, you know, U-turning and shit like that. They got to pick up somebody in that $4 surge zone for that because it was back there anyways. They should have gave me the $4 when I was back there. Instead, they pulled it up when I was sitting in the $250. I Man, they waited too long at that point. Give me the four. They know how I drive. I don't touch shit without surge on it. So they keep messing with me like that. It's them people standing on the curb. Not me, motherfucker. I know where I'm going. So it's like, you want them people picked up? Throw me in the surge zone. Let's get this shit going. Y'all don't pay me enough in this car. This used to be a Lux car. Now you want to think I'm going to do shit on base rate? Fuck that. Nope. So you got to pay me like Lux rates. Even though you don't call me Lux, motherfucker, I feel like Lux. <laughs> it's like, shit. I'm going to cruise up here real quick. See if they give me something on the way up. Most likely they won't. But I'm about to turn my music back on. Play me some Jay-Z. Rock Nation. See if I can get some of this money going tonight. Tempe right now. I'm sitting on a 450 surge. And you know they ain't sending me no rides right now. But that's cool. Now it's up to 550. Hey, keep building up. I'll be sitting here chilling. They still got people over at the airport. 21 to 25. They might try to send me over there. They got $5 downtown. Like I said, I'm sitting on this 550. So I'll hang here for a second. This turbo is active until 10 o'clock. So it's 958. They ain't giving me no ride for a minute. They want to wait till that turbo disappears, I bet. <laughs> they like, dude, they like, what, you going to give me an extra 30 cent? You, you hold me out for 30 cent, you raggedy bastards. <laughs> up this ride off a mill. I was sitting over there wiping the car down and everything. Had to decline a few rides, but I got this one. It's $13 to get out of here because this is crazy over here. It's like nuts. I didn't want to ride. They kept giving me like, you know, one mile rides for like $4. I'm like, no, I'm not doing all that. Then they gave me a 550 surge on this one. So I gotta go like seven miles south for almost $14. Hopefully do give me like a five, $10 tip, but I'm definitely gonna talk to him about it. Cause that way I'll get about $23 to go seven miles. So hopefully I'm gonna see if he'll give me that, but I'll let you know as soon as I drop him off, it's gonna be a good seven miles. So I'm gonna have some chance to talk to him about this tipping shit going on. Real good ride right there. Dude was cool as hell, Tito. And he said, you know, he'll hit me. He asked me if I do private rides. He asked me, he says, hey man, you do private rides? He said, cause I'm gonna need a ride to my girls in a couple hours. He says, you still gonna be out? I said, yes, hey, here's my car. Dude asked me. So apparently drivers are out there talking about private rides and they got riders asking drivers who's doing private rides now. So I appreciate all you drivers out there who are speaking to riders about private rides. Cause dude asked me if I did private rides. So apparently he knows what's up. I'll be back to pick him up in a couple hours. <clears throat> so I'm going to stay in this area right here. I don't think there's no surge over here. Yeah, there ain't no surge over here. I can go either way, but like I said, I might go north a little bit, but south is where all the money seems to be. And it's busy as hell in Tempe right now, like super busy. So I might just go south because I don't want to go back down towards Mill Avenue. It's crazy down there. And plus downtown is crazy. I might just drop south a little bit, get some of that money down there. But yeah, I definitely want to be in this area because like I said, he's he's going to be a good cash ride. Dude's cool as hell. I can already tell right off the bat, he's cool as hell. Here where this surge is right now, and it's not looking too good. Like I said, $14 to go like 12 miles is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something shorter, like something around about three miles maybe. Three miles for maybe about, you know, eight, nine dollars. I could do something like that. These $13, $14 rides, I don't want to touch those. Because those are going to be, you know, some pretty far distances. So if I can get something around about three miles, see, $14, no, nah, 12, 13 miles, no, nah, I'm cool on that. These rides are all too far. So if they can give me something that's a little bit shorter, I'll take it. I'm probably going to sit right up here somewhere, get out of traffic so I can scout some rides. Uh, let me see, where am I going to go? Let's go right here. I'm gonna sit right over here so I can scout me some rides on the side of the road. I don't like to drive and scout at the same time. Just some shit I don't do. All right, so here I go. Nice little parking lot right here. Let me back in. All right. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, they'll give me something good that I could actually use, because all these other rides are like shit right now. 
Alright. Here I go. I'm gonna sit and chill right here for a second. See what kind of rides they're gonna give me. Let's see what we got. And I got the 10% turbo. That ain't shit. Was that a dollar? Ooh, they done jacked it down and done moved it all the way down. But they got some nice surge up here. You know, where's that Gilbert? Oh, downtown Gilbert. I'll take a ride over to Gilbert. That's what's up. Give me a ride over to Gilbert. Tempe still looking decent. Tempe was just super packed. I had to get up out of there. You can't be sitting over there with that much traffic. Because, I mean, you're not going to make any money. Just to get down the street, I mean, every light got, you know, 10, 15 cars deep. You can't make money over there. So hopefully they give me something over on this side. Like I said, Gilbert, I could take a ride to Gilbert. Give me something that's about, mm, what is that, about one, two, three. That's about five miles. So give me five miles for nine, ten dollars, I'll take it. Because I'll get over here and pick up something in Gilbert, pick up a surge or something over there. We'll see what they're going to do. Because right now, they just tripping. They tripping. Downtown Phoenix ain't got nothing, so I'm glad I didn't go that way. Yeah, that dried up pretty quick. But that Gilbert is looking pretty good sitting right there. Give me a ride over there and we can make it happen. Meantime, I'm going to listen to me some music. I'm not going to be sitting here the whole time in this dark alleyway. <laughs> I've done three rides tonight and that's it. It is super slow out. Look at that. Two hours of being online and it ain't nothing. Well, I've been sitting here. I'm just finishing up eating my lunch. <laughs> I kind of, while I was waiting at Circle K or Quick Trip, I went to the store, grabbed me a couple of hot dogs, ate those, kicked back, relaxed, and this ride came through right here. And it was a uh, um, seven mile, almost eight miles, twelve dollars. They paid fourteen dollars for it. I got twelve fifty three out of it because I got seven dollars out of the base. If I didn't have the bonus, they would have paid fourteen. I would have got seven dollars. It would have been fifty percent. So I ended up getting you know a five fifty bonus on that one. Brought them around the corner. I'm sitting here right now on the corner. I just finished eating my second hot dog, so I'm about to throw this shit in the trash can. I want to wait to see if this guy's gonna text me because I'm like maybe a block up from where he is. So if I can, well, maybe two blocks, two city blocks. So if he texts me, then I'm going to go pick him up and just call it a night. Because, I mean, it's about midnight. It's completely dead. I mean, this map, it ain't got nothing. Look at that. Surge downtown Phoenix, that's it. Surge $2 right there. I mean, this is Friday night, midnight, completely dead. Look at this. There ain't nothing out there. Nobody's trying to get, no, everybody's probably already at the bars where they're going to be and everything like that. Let me see what Uber's looking like. Uber's probably the same. Yep, $3 boost from 11 to 12 up there. Other than that, look at that. It ain't no surge nowhere. Friday night, Friday night, completely dead at midnight. Yeah, it might be jumping at about 2 in the morning when all the bars let open, so I'll probably just, like I said, I'm going to wait to see if this dude texts for a ride. I'll give him about another 20, 30 minutes. And if he texts, cool. Otherwise, I'm going to chalk it up as a night, probably come out at 2 in the morning. Because I'm right up, like, I'm right here by Chandler, and where I live is right there, like, 48th Street. So I'm not too far from where I live. I'm still in my same general area. Might be, like, four or five miles away. So if that's what I got to do, you know, cruise back up, be done, cool, I'll be done. But I'm not about to sit up here and be out here all night sitting in parking lots for no reason. I could be at home editing videos or something. About 1230. I got another tip came through, a little $3 tip over here. So I had a, what, a $2.55 and a $3 tip. So that's all I made for the night was the 38 bucks. But like I said, I only had to drive, what, I didn't tell me how many miles. So I've 123 miles, I mean $123 so far over 50 miles, two and a half hours. But like I said, I've been sitting here chilling, listening to fucking YouTube. But it's 12.30 and I was going to get that dude some time so he can text. These people haven't uh, tipped me yet, which is cool, which is cool. It was 12.53 for like seven, eight miles. This one here, the one with the $3, that was this guy here. Was what, eight miles, $16, about $2 a mile, not bad. But I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure I can, you know, get this guy before it. Because like I said, he might be a good ride, but if he don't hit me up, like I said, I... Juan Vargas hit me up and everything, but this guy ain't hit me up, man. My man James, Stanley Jenkins, man, everybody hit me up. But this dude ain't hit me up for a ride. I'm like, shit, man, I'm about to get up out of here. It's, what, almost 1230 at night. I'm going to head to the house real quick, lay down. I just got out and walked for a little bit to stretch my back out. So it's feeling a whole lot better, but it ain't 100% yet. I'm probably right around about 60%, 70% right now. But it's like, man, it need to, I need to just get it done, get it done, get this back back in order. 
But yeah, I'm about to head my butt to the house. Listen to me some music and cruise to the house. If he texts me, he texts me. If not, I'm calling it a night. Like I said, they ain't got no surges like $2. They got little shit here and there. It ain't worth it, man. It ain't worth it. They got something jumping in Avondale. They got down at the Speedway down there. But for the most part, yeah, I'm not messing with none of this stuff, man. I'm about to head my butt to the house. This is a dead Friday night, man. And I actually decided to go out Saturday and try to drive Saturday night. I don't know why I even try. Crazy. I got a $14 surge sitting right up the street from my house right now on Uber. I haven't driven Uber in a while. I got it on Uber Pet right now. And the reason why I got it on Uber Pet, like I tell people, you got to put it on Paw Patrol so you know when that surge disappears. If you got your app turned off, you can't tell, you can't see that surge in real time. So right now, I got my app on Paw Patrol. I'm going to cruise up the road. See if I can get up here, grab the $14, then shoot over here by ASU. This is right up the street from me. I'm like, damn, I turned the app on. I was done doing video edits anyway. So I was like, hell yeah. Let's go get this money. So I'm going to cruise up here and see what I can do. I'll let y'all know in a second. I'm going to listen to me some music for a while. I got it on one of the old Drake albums. <laughs> I'm going to cruise up here as if I can't make some money real quick. Because like I said, tonight, woo, man, I want to hit these apps up. I know they probably live it right now. They seeing all these youtubers talking about other apps and getting the hell up out of minneapolis oh boy i know they pissed off right now they pissed off they really thought they was gonna have our ass crying oh please don't leave uber please don't leave left like shit it's time to make money now get rid of the ragamuffins motherfucker let's make some money all right so i'm cruising up here right now i think i'm in the 14 surge i know i'm in the nine right now so if in the nine let me see if they give me 14 if i turn this corner where we at? Where we at? 14. All right, bet. So we got enough money. We got enough money. Let me turn this corner before I start fucking with this app. Now, let's see if we can make some of this money real quick. Bam, bam. Let's see if we can get two, three dollars a mile at least. Let's do something special for these motherfuckers. Let's do something. 20, oh, hell no. $23. Look at that. 16 miles away and they want me to do that shit for like fucking no, no. Not, no. 24. Nope. Oh, now they're gonna give me 775. Oh, you raggedy bastard. 775? Yeah, I hear you. I'm gonna put it back on Paw Patrol for a second. Because they I was at $14. They sent me one ride. I didn't want it, so I declined it. They dropped me all the way down to 775. That fucking quick. Like they straight took six dollars and twenty-five cent surge away from me after one decline. So now, yeah, we Harriet Tubman this shit for the rest of the night. They done pissed me off with that shit. Man, I can't believe that shit. They took off 625. I declined one ride. They dropped 625. They saw I picked that damn surge up. They got scared. They was like, oh shit. Somebody was up there. Yeah, I Paw Patrol the fuck in. And then they tried to send me a few fucking nature hikes. And I was like, yeah, y'all not getting me again with that shit. Nope. I already know the play already. I already know the fucking play. So now these motherfuckers are stuck dealing with me now. I'm a crew. I'm already by ASU anyways. So I'm gonna cruise over here and do like probably a one, two mile trip. See if I can get like 10 bucks for like one mile. <laughs> it's like, fuck them. They don't play the shit out of me now. Now I'm pissed off. They ain't even have to do that. It would be cool if they left me with the 14. I would have probably did something with that. But man, they dropped me all right down to 775. These lousy bastards. I'm telling you, boy, it's, it's Uber and Lyft, man. They be on some shady shit. Shady sh There is no reason for that 14 to be sitting there. None. Because as soon as I got it, they tried to send me away from there. As soon as I got the 14, I was like, nah, we're not doing that shit. Nope. But I should have known better than the client. I should have been fucking Harriet Tubman and that shit from the get-go. Should have known he was going to pull some shit like that. But it's like, y'all got me for 625. All right, y'all got me. Well, I guess what? Tonight's cash ride night, motherfuckers. I'm a Harriet Tubman this. Cash ride anything else. Uber done fucked up. Hopefully tonight I get deactivated. That's how fucked up I feel about these people right now. Deactivate me if you want to, motherfucker. Y'all going to leave all of our cities anyway, so shit. We at that point. Like, y'all motherfuckers is playing... You playing with some dangerous ass drivers out here. Cause we go out and get this shit. Y'all playing with some dangerous drivers. And we all about that money. We ain't about no bullshit. I'm sitting right in front of these people. I offer all they motherfucking ass rides for $40, $50 and get them. Get each one of them. So it's like, tonight, this is what we gonna do. We gonna cruise over here. I'm gonna use this 775 by ASU. And shit, I'm gonna cash ride the shit out this app tonight. Hopefully I get some, some uh, cash app Ven Moselle shit going. But if they start giving me straight cash, I guess that's what I do now. I just do straight cash. But yeah, these motherfuckers, they done got on my last nerve with this dumb shit already.
had fourteen dollars. I declined one damn ride. What they do? Kicked it out. Oh, raggedy bastards! Use that little surge real quick on that trip right there. I was sitting around the corner from him. He was right around the corner. You know that was what 1.2 miles. So I really went about 2.2 miles for 11.64. But and it increased a little bit. It was 10 bucks. But then I got an increase because he said he changed the, the location, but he didn't. I was sitting right where he was supposed to pick up, and he was walking up to me and he said, change location. I was like, okay, but I'll take it. I'll take it. But that was it right there. It was 1093, but then I got a little more because of the wait time and everything like that. The fare was only 318, surge 775, but I got a little bit extra because of that you know, wait time, 71 cent, because I had three minutes waiting. So you get 70 cents every three minutes pretty much. 70 cents every three minutes think about it six minutes you get a dollar 40 that's not a lot <laughs> it's like if you do that 10 times an hour that's 14 dollars an hour you're basically getting so you're getting 14 dollars an hour to sit there and wait on people when normally we run at about 40 bucks an hour that's why they don't want to pay no 15 dollars an hour because they're doing 14 dollars an hour right now if you're sitting there waiting for an hour 15 dollars an hour means they got to add an extra dollar to it minimum oh cheap bastards they don't want to do that shit Look at these crazy horses up here. All right, I'm gonna go post up somewhere and see if I can get me some more surge. I, I know it's not surging right now, because it's still kind of early over here. Like I said, it's only 11.30. Ain't even a lot of people over here. So I'm gonna cruise over here somewhere and kind of take me a seat. I'm, I'm gonna cruise down the street. Okay, this is my first hum ride of the night. It's 9.14. I just picked up me something to eat from Popeyes. I was just about to start eating. I think I ate one of the legs and then the phone rang. So, yeah. So I'm gonna cruise and go pick up Jody Kane. She's three miles away. This looks like she's right up by Target. Yeah. Okay, we're well, on well, McClintock. Okay. I see exa exactly where we are. Not too far. So I'm gonna cruise and pick her up real quick. And then I think she's gotta go like maybe four miles or something like that. So this will be total of seven miles. Three miles plus how, how long I gotta take her, which should be about seven miles. And we'll see what I got paid. But like I said, I was just in the parking lot, pulled out and started driving. It's got me going that way. I'm not going that way. Come on, cars. Man, you guys are nuts. Can't stand these slow ass drivers. Let's go, let's go. So yeah, I'm gonna head up here real quick, pick up Jody Kane, and then I'll let you guys know how this is gonna go. I'm glad, I mean, it hit me instantly. I just had the app on, Jamil's actually texting me right now. Cause I was just about to text Jamil back I was putting my chicken back in the box. Fucking chicken box. <laughs> box box, like a motherfucker. So I was putting my chicken back in the box. And then he hit me up. Uh, Cube Smart Self Storage. Okay. So that's got to go to Cube Smart Self Storage to pick up her. All right. Address. I'm at. Okay, cool. I got you. I got you. So let me go pick her up real quick. Then I'm going to hit you guys back. That's pretty cool that it pops up at the top like a little message like that. I don't know how to message her back. I'll try to look and see. But I'll find out in a second. Yeah, I'm a customer's gonna learn real quick. I don't wait. So I get there, the car goes into the gate because they're at this storage place. I see two cars in there, so I'm like, they better not be trying to move shit. There's two cars in there, and the lady texts us, hey, we're coming. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting, sitting, sitting. I sit for about two minutes. Nobody's moving. Like nobody's leaving the, the two cars I see sitting there down by the storage unit or nothing like that. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I just canceled and drove off. I mean, I'm not sitting there for no five, 10 minutes. I don't know if they're going through shit, they're moving, what the fuck, I don't know. But I'm not gonna sit there and play that fucking game with these people. Like, no, I'm still the same driver. I don't give a fuck what app I'm on. I'm not waiting, I don't do that. Don't have me fucking sitting there by a storage unit goddamn gate. There's two cars in there. I don't know what the hell they doing in the car. They could be moving drugs back and forth. I don't fucking know. It was like, one was a van, one was a black car. And ain't nobody fucking moving. So I'm like, I can see people at the back of the van and everything, but I'm like, you know what? It's probably ain't something I should be doing right now. So I'm gonna keep fucking driving. So I'm gonna cruise up here. I'm gonna turn this app off real quick. I need to give me something. I'm gonna eat my food. So I'm gonna turn my app off, grab me something to eat, finish my fucking food and shit, and then I'll deal with this shit later. But yeah, already first ride of the night, you know, hum. I drove three miles, get to the gate, people fucking around. I call it good. So I'm gonna cruise over here and sit down and eat my fucking dinner. I ain't worried about these people. Day night, I just finished taking my nap. I'm headed up here to pick up Brand for a $5 ride going in the direction I'm going. 
Now, the reason why I chose to take this ride is because this looks like somebody at a hotel. So I'm gonna make sure I give them a hum card. Normally, I wouldn't take this $5 ride, but I think I'm gonna start doing more of these little quick hops and stuff like that and giving people cards, especially on long rides. Long rides, I'll convert them. But on this short ride, I'm just gonna give this person a card. I'm not gonna convert, it's $5, like five miles, it's nothing. I'm going in this direction anyway. So I'm gonna make sure I give them this hum card and tell them, hey, do me a favor, download this app because many drivers are getting off of Uber and Lyft because we ain't paid that much. We're starting to all drive home here in Phoenix. This is how I'm gonna tell this you know, person to download it. Hopefully they do. And there's no reason for me to convert on a ride this small. They probably only paid like six bucks, seven bucks for this ride. It's like right down the street, seriously, it's nowhere. I'll look and see how much they paid once I finish the ride, but it's nowhere. But I definitely wanna turn this into a home client, especially if they're here in town for some reason, because they're right at this hotel right here. I'll find out in a second. Finish that ride real quick, like I said, because I'm headed north anyways, and this is what the kid paid. Hold up, I gave him a hum card, talked about hum. He was like, Oh man, I heard about this already. Yeah, so 1177 is what he paid. I got 534. I got less than half the money. Yep, I got less than half. Check that out. 1177 is what he paid. I got 534 for that ride. This is why I don't normally take rides without surges on it, but I'm glad I talked to the kid because he's looking to get in the podcast and everything like that. So I gave him my card. I'm gonna chat with him about that, but definitely he's like, yeah, man, uh, give me that. So I gave him a hum card. He'll download the app. He'll start using us for private rides and stuff like that. So he don't got to pay the apps no more. So definitely, you know, I like doing stuff like that, picking up people, chopping up business. But yeah, 1177 and I got 534 on that ride. Yeah, not happening, not happening. I just finished doing a hum ride. I was at the event and the guys were actually standing next to me and I didn't realize it because I, I saw what the pickup was so I called him. I was like, hey Steven, this is Jeff. Where are you guys at? And I saw him pick his phone up. He was like, I'm right across the street from you. I was like, oh hell. So I walked across the street and we walked over to my car, but this is the ride I just did here. It was $15. They paid $17.80. It was a fee of 63 cents. Um, I got what I went, eight miles. Eight miles, almost $2 a mile, $15.16 for going eight miles. It's pretty quick and like I said and it came through the app so I didn't have to do a cash ride or anything like that it came right through the app I didn't have to collect anything it'll be it'll hit my wallet and then I can just it'll download to my bank through stripe or whatever like that so this wasn't a cash ride or nothing like that so it was pretty easy pretty easy so that was it right there so I got 15 16 for it it was that was the ride just real quick from that little green dot straight down to the black dot 15 bucks 15 bucks basically eight miles and it took me maybe what 12 minutes so it was a 12 minute drive 12 minute 15 dollars eight miles and that was my second hum ride during this event so far so i'm doing pretty good i'm doing pretty i'm kind of liking how this hum thing is set up i did a lift ride to get up here from the airport i took a lift ride up to scottsdale the lady paid 35 for the ride i got 17 dollars out of the 35 yeah but it got me at least closer to where i needed to be and plus I gave her the hum card. You know, I told her she's here with a bachelorette party. So we're gonna try to get something set up for this weekend for her. I told all the guys with the SUVs to be ready. I've got to get an SUV. Cause I'm telling all these bachelor and bachelorette parties about the SUVs and I don't even have an SUV yet. So I'm helping these guys make money. I hope I make money too, but I'd rather just get people to use in us first. We'll deal with the logistics and all that shit later. But I just, I want to at least get people to use our service with the SUVs and all that. So I'm headed back to the event right now. I got my hum app still running so I can pick up somebody on the way down here to see if I can get them back up there. But like I said, this is fun. This is fun. Hum is making, you know, ride share fun again, man. I love going, you know, 12 minutes, eight miles, and I'm 15 bucks, almost $2 a mile. And they can still tip me, I guess, if they wanted to. I don't know how that works, but they could probably use Cash App, Venmo, or they could just tip me straight like this. I don't know how it works, but we'll find out. We'll find out. There we go tonight. We're out here driving right now. We're still up at the concert. We got cars coming from everywhere. Yeah, we got cars coming from everywhere. These are a bunch of Uber and Lyft drivers trying to find somewhere to go. They can't do what we do because, you know, hum drivers, this is all of us over here. You know, we got all the cars over here sitting here cleaning everything. We got the big SUVs. 
We got guys ready to work. We got Escalades. There's my man Billy Proctor right there. I just met him tonight. He's cool as hell. But we got all the cars out here. Like I said, we got hum drivers ready to go. You ain't got to wait no 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. We right here at the event. Ready to pick you up for Arizona Bike Week, baby. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. We got bikes coming through. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. There we go, baby. Arizona Bike Week. Okay, I did my second hum ride for the night. I just picked Rob up. I did a cash ride. So he sent me money through cash ride or whatever, through Cash App or Venmo, but this was his ride right here. So it was 3171. Customer fare was 3850, but I got 3171 out of 3850 because he's got his discount and everything. His fare was only $33. So his fare was 33, the customer fare was 3850. Fees were $1.32 for insurance. I don't know what that bank deposit is. I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll have to ask what that means. But it was my same thing, 26 minutes, 21 miles. That was it, 26 minutes, 21 miles, paid me $31. And like I said, I'm on the base level. I'm not a Lux tier, nothing like that. So out of 26 minutes, I'm making $31. $60 an hour is what I'm running, $60 an hour. So it's basically, you know, the base tier on HUM can pay you at least $60 an hour, minimum. Not this $15 an hour shit. So HUM is actually doing a lot better than what I thought it would do. And like I said, my money is automatically in my um, thing right now. See, that's where it says, he just paid me $30 right there. Bam, that's my $30 right there. So I got my $30, drop that in. I'm headed to the gas station right now. I got 50 miles left on my tank. I've been driving since, you know, last week because I had to put my motor mounts in. So I filled up the day I finished my motor mounts. And this is the first time I'm putting gas back in. So I'm gonna go put gas in the car, do a couple of more hum rides. It's only 10.30 at night, but I'm done with my, my cash ride. I got my insurance, I did this this way. He paid me cash out, but I did it on hum because that's my commercial insurance right there. So like I said, this is going pretty well, it's going pretty well. And so that's what I did, you know, I did. That's tonight right there. Today's earnest was that $46 on those two rides. Two rides, $46, that was it. And the total amount of miles I did for that was 29 miles. So 30 miles. I made $46 in 30 miles. If you do a 30 mile trip on Uber, a 30 mile trip on Lyft, you're gonna get about anywhere between $15 and $18. So between $15 and $18 to do a 30 mile trip on Uber or Lyft, and I got $46 for it on HUM. This is how it works. That's no tips or nothing. That's straight cash right there. Okay, I think I've done about four hum rides let me look and see i know i just did one just now this quick one right here for 1872 and it was for six miles almost seven miles 1872 and let me go in here and look and see yeah the, the fare was 1499 customer fare 2099 so bank deposit 18 whatever that means 18 dollars my income 1872 so i got an 1872 out of a customer paid 20 bucks oh he gave me a five dollar tip that's where it came from the five dollar tip that's what i'm talking about appreciate you brother and i was just asking anthony about the tip stuff so that was my five dollar tip so they do tip within the app all right it was 11 minutes 6.7 miles and i got 1872 for that 11 minutes 6.79 1872 i just dropped him off at a hotel finished that love it that was my only friday ride there that was you know late night what time was that because i just did it uh 12 16 a.m so but these are my other rides here the 54 dollars worth of ride. how can i get in here thursday all right let's go on thursday there was a ride i did at the end this one 803 so check this out i did this ride for 803 it was actually six minutes two miles two miles six minutes the dude actually gave me, instead of the $8, because we said it was $8, and he was like, okay, cool, I'll pay the eight fifty. So he paid me through Cash App. He gave me $6, almost $7 more, and it was only 2.1 miles. I picked him up at the event, I was at the event, drove him around to a hotel, right around, him and two girls, drove him right around the corner. Quick, quick, six minutes. Six minutes made $14 in six minutes. This is how HUM works. The money is 100% yours. I did 31 miles a day, $54. But the $54 is only what's calculated through HUM. Because like I said, this $8, the $54 is calculated through HUM. It's going to say, that's 15. I got the 15 because that was the app. This 31 was a cash ride. 
which is really $30 because I got paid through Cash App for that. And then this eight was really $14. So even though it says $54.92, I really got $15.30 to make $45, then $45 and change plus the $14 here gives me about $60. So I made really about $60, not $54. I made $60 and then I made the other $18 right here. So I made close to $80. So $80 and I did 31 miles there, 31 plus six, 37 miles. So I made $80 at about 37 miles, $80. This is not bad. Imagine doing a, a 37 mile trip on Uber and they saying, hey, here's $80. That's basically how it works with Hum. They're saying, we're gonna let you do a 37 mile trip straight and you can get what almost $80 for that for 37 miles of driving. I mean, you can't really beat that, especially because this straight app is Cash App, it's Venmo, it's Zelle, it's all that stuff, plus the app pays you what they pay you. You'll never have to worry about 50 cents a mile no more, 60 cents a mile, 70 cents a mile. You don't have to worry about that with this kind of app. You're gonna get paid much, much better when you're getting over $1.50 a mile, $2 a mile. Like I said, even with this, this 1872 ride, what I went, how many miles did I go? 6.79 miles. $18 for the $8 ride. Where is that at? Let me go back to this $8 ride right here. Really, that was that was the $14 ride. $14, $211, $7 a mile right there. And this is all money straight mine. It's all my money. So it, it's pretty good. I like how it's going. Like I said, that $32 ride was really $35 because the guy paid me $30 on Cash App, $5 in cash. The $54 was really $60. The 1872 is a true 1872. So even though you see the amounts here, it's all going through my Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, stuff like that. And that's where I'm getting my, this just tells you what the app calculated for the app revenue. What I get for my revenue is actually more than what this app is saying. So, I mean, I love it. You run everything through the app, run it all through the app, and you're going to get way more money. Trust me up this uber hit right now it's six miles south i'm going south anyway because i'm headed home so six miles south i'm gonna pick up josh and i'm dropping him off in tempe by where i live they're only giving me 12 dollars for this ride so it's 12 dollars for about 17 18 miles of driving on uber i'm gonna convert this to a cash ride if he doesn't want to do a cash ride then i'm not taking him at all but this is how i'm gonna try to do it i'll show you like right now you see me taking josh right now I'll show you whether through Cash App, Venmo, or through Hum, exactly how I'm going to get this ride done. I'll do it as a Hum manual ride, but he's going to pay me Cash App or Venmo. Watch how this works. Up, Josh, and dropped him off. You see this Jay Roddy? This is who he was. I just picked this dude up. He said, yeah, you got Spotify, so we playing Spotify. This is him right here. Let me let you see what he, this is what he sound like. Hold up. Let me turn it up a little bit. Hope it don't copyright me. Yeah, I wish that people started keeping those Look at hitting different, getting greasier than Mika knows They talk behind you when they swear they got the sweetest soul Never see me reaching, only reaching when I reach my goals That's who I just dropped off I, And I converted it to a cash ride Because they was around the corner from where I was supposed to be So I pull up, him and his boys was like Oh man, you know, we sorry about that I said, no, nah, no problem I said, you know, Uber's going to try to screw me So let's do it different He says, hey, we got you cash, man He said, we'll cash app you cash Whatever you want, brother this is the dude right here, Jay Roddy, coolest ass artist from Massachusetts. They out here having a good time. Hopefully we get to shoot a video because we chatting and talking about shooting a video and everything. I got $40 from, from the cash and the 20. I didn't do the $12 ride. I had to cancel that shit. But this is dude right here, Jay Roddy, man. Y'all go to Spotify, look up Jay Roddy. This, we played this song in the car and this is hitting, this is bumping. Take a breath, everything is okay And everything gon' be alright I always keep my faith Never talk about money or the moves I make This dude just sitting in my front seat, rocking out. Had his boys in the back. We shooting a video. I love driving, man. Like I said, especially when I could do cash rides. I wasn't even going to do that ride because Uber wasn't paying me shit. I took it anyways because I knew I was going to convert it. So I took it, converted it. Dudes, he's got my number now, so we exchange numbers. He's going to hit me up tomorrow. We're going to go out and shoot a music video. I want to shoot a music video with these dudes, man. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. But hey, Hum did all right tonight. Uber did all right as far as me converting a ride over. This is how you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll explain the hour more in depth when I get back to the lab. But it's only 1.40. I got to do some driving. I got to pick up in the morning. 
Same private ride, 30 bucks up to the bike event. Man, I'm gonna hit y'all back later. I'm gonna listen to me some Jay Roddy for a minute. So my breakdown today is about 160 bucks. Most of it was Cash App and Venmo. Now I did about $30 on Lyft. I did three trips, about 30 bucks. I haven't gotten a tip yet. I got one tip on Lyft, but I think another one should be coming through because the girls are supposed to tip me. They'll be calling me in the morning. I did two rides on Hum that were actual Hum rides, and I did three cash rides that went through Hum. So I did five rides total on Hum, none on Uber, zero on Uber. The one Uber trip that I started, I ended up canceling it, and I did it as a cash ride. So I did the, the five rides total. Everything was on Hum's insurance. It, well, I think my morning one, I missed my morning one. But everything was on, I did about $160 total, about 75 to 80 miles. About 75, 80 miles. But it was only like eight trips. That's all I did was eight trips. So basically not using Uber at all. I used Uber, but like I said, I converted that from a $12 ride to a $40 cash ride. And like I said, I wasn't going to do this for no $12. I wasn't doing it. And I was the cool guy that I met. But for the most part, just want to show people that it's okay to go off script. If you want to get this money, you might have to go off script to get it. You can't always stick to the script. You got to go out there, drum up some business for yourself. If you don't know how to drum up business, you don't want to drum up business. I discuss a lot of it in my live streams, in my cash rides, you know, folder. You got to look in these playlists. I talk about it all the time. And if you don't know how to do it, I constantly talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it on this video, but you can look at other videos and see how we drum up cash rides. We talk about it in the comments and I talk about it in the commentary. So... It's the end of this video. I'm beat. I got to go to sleep. I got to wake up in the morning, do my 8.30 cash ride. Once I do that, I'll start doing some Lyft and Uber rides and see if I can't convert them into cash rides as well.